chemical makeup, okay? What is the chemical makeup of the sun? And then we go to the interior. Um, I'm gonna show you this chart. <coughs> This is known as, uh, it says, abundance of elements in the sun. So if you take hydrogen, helium, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, neon, magnesium, silicon, sulfur, iron, you can either break it down by percentage by number of atoms or percentage by mass. So if you say, what percentage of the atoms in the sun are hydrogen? Then the answer will be 92%. So 92% of the atoms of the sun. So that means out of every 100, 100 atoms in the sun, 92 of them are hydrogen, okay? By far, by the way, the most abundant element in the universe is hydrogen. Hydrogen is the most abundant element in Jupiter. It's the most abundant element in Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, all the stars, the gases in the universe. So most of the universe is hydrogen. Second most abundant element in the universe Helium, okay? It's also the most, second most abundant element in the sun. 7.8% of the sun is helium. Then the rest of the sun, which is, you can consider all of these together, those would be called metallic uh, substances, anything heavier than helium. The 0.2% of the sun is heavier metallic elements. So it's not that much, okay? Basically what happened is when the Big Bang happened, uh, in the beginning of the universe, the Big Bang gave us the three lightest elements, hydrogen, helium, lithium, okay? Uh, there are these ones here, hydrogen, helium, lithium. And then the rest of all of these elements were created in stars. They were generated in the stars. And then when uh, stars blew up, then they spewed all these elements to the, uh, the universe, then from generations and generations of new stars forming, these uh, other elements started becoming more abundant. So basically the universe gave us hydrogen, helium, lithium and said, let's see what you can do with it. Okay? And then the stars made the rest. All of the stuff that you're made of, bones, you know, uh, cartilage, everything, heart, everything, all of those elements, they were made by stars. Okay? Big Bang only gave you the first three elements, okay? So did the stars do a good job? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I would say so, you know? They made, they cook these elements in their cores, then they blow up and they give it to the universe. They give it back to the universe. Amazing, okay? Now, if you also break it down by mass and you say what percentage of the mass of the sun is hydrogen, it's only 73%. Why? Because hydrogen is the lightest element. So even though it comprises 92% of the sun, by weight it's only 73%, the lightest element. The helium is heavier than hydrogen, so it comprises 25% of the weight of the sun. You see? So 73%, 25%. And then all these other metallic substances carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, all of those, they comprise the rest by weight. So you see the percentages drop when you go from number of atoms to by percentage by weight. Okay, the layers. Let's